And I mean, they're doing something with the uh, Nintendo DS, with the dual do screen. Your kids haven't maybe seen the brain age and all the stuff with those. So we're not just thinking about um, a cell phone or a mobile phone. I mean, there's a lot of different things. But the video on this is, is fantastic. And you've got one more, right? And I have one more real quick. Yeah. This is a project that I worked on. Uh, it actually started with one of our faculty when I was at the University of Wisconsin. But it's now a Star School grant that is between Harvard, MIT, and UW that has a actually I've used Google Maps and they have a GPS on the device and they're working with middle school kids on um, giving you information. They have to solve, they have to use scientific reasoning to solve a problem. And the only way they could do it, you role play. And so in this particular one, you could be um, a doctor, a, uh, a reporter, um, a government official, insurance official, or whatever, and you're going to get more information. If you can picture yourself as a, a doctor asking a nurse a question, they would respond differently to you than they would a reporter asking a nurse a question. And so the only way that they can solve this is by interacting and team building. It's a wonderful team building experience in query-based learning. And it has, uh, we've got some, some students now building their own augmented reality. Uh, you're going to hear about augmented reality. You're going to hear about, um, what term do you use? Alternate reality. Alternate reality. Games. There's different ones that we're going to hear about. But this is one that I can give you more information. I can give you the URL for that. I may even have that in the book. I think it is in there. So, <coughs> you want me to turn yeah. it over? I'll, uh, I'll take the next one. So, can I just do one thing? Sure. Because I have to do something that's terribly rude. I have to excuse myself and go because with all of you arriving in town um, for DevLearn, uh, my colleagues would like for us to make sure that we have all of our piece parts ready to go for you. So I'm, I'm sorry I can't stay. But You're I'm off to run Demo Fest. <laughs> so. I am off to make sure that everything that you wanted to have in place that had anything to do with what I can help touch is perfect for you. Thank you for coming to San Jose. I just want you to know something. I mean, this is we're, we're, we're big partners with DevLearn. We are so thrilled to have you guys in San Jose nearby where we can actually get more of the Adobe folks to actually engage and interact with all of us because they really love what you do. They just don't understand it. And so for me, it's been another wonderful way to connect these together. So thank you for that. And tell my guys about all the amazing stuff you do. <laughs> so thanks again. Thanks for letting me play. I'm sorry I have to leave, but I will see you. Thank you so much, Ellen. It's great contributions. So for mine, I thought I'd show something that we actually did a few years ago when I was with RWD Technologies. And I wanted to show this one because it points to a number of different trends, even though it was kind of early. And it also has informed all the work that we've been doing since then, really. A simple university asked us if we would do kind of a futuristic pilot of what's coming down the pike. What do we see next for their devices? So it is device-centric at this point, but what we built actually works on any pocket PC. And uh, we wanted to test out four key areas that we thought would be of interest. Access control, real-time certification, and then also looking at how we use it for performance support and how we use it on the job, in the workflow, and then RFID tracking. So we're gonna let this little self-running demo go for you, but uh, basically we have, we have uh, badges, and if those badges had a barcode on it, we would then be able to scan that with this device, because it's got a uh, barcode scanner at the top, you just press the big orange button on the side, and it knows then who you are. At our location, in many locations, there's a barcode on the door frame too to identify where you are. So in the absence